Hi, how's it in the name of Christ? How are you doing? It's your girl, Cran K. Gekarabo. I hope you're good. I hope you're peachy. I hope you're Stella. And I hope you're in a neat little bunch. If you're not, welcome to the party. Is that just not the story of our lives? Today's the 23rd of October, 2024. And I don't have a timestamp because I wanted the look. I wanted to go all disco, all up in your grill. Yeah, like that. I wanted to go disco. I enjoyed the disco. I wanted 80s and I got 80s. Because I was born in the 80s and very soon stuff like that is gonna matter because we're going home. But I don't have the energy to display disco. Because I'm just so annoyed. I'm so bored. Like, I'm just, yo, keep recording the same stuff over and over again. Anyway, I'm sorry. Hey, yeah. My, um. Uh, yeah, that's why I'm coming at night. Because during the day, I was not determined to speak. But. But yeah. How's it? Oh, goodness. Whoa. I'm, you know what, guys? I'm drained by repeat offenses and I'm tired. I don't even know why I'm recording. Maybe it's because I just wanted to, to show you my disco look. Disco. 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 Because <sighs> I'm creative. Uh, but, y'all, you know what? Like, whatever. Like, nah. I I'm sorry. No. Give my swabby. <laughs> okay, long story short, how shall we present this? My family are crazy. But I always know when people think that they're like five seconds away from succeeding to get what they want out of me because then all of a sudden there is a reigning theme in my dreams disco disco where shall i put this light to make the disco more prevalent ow shy cran cat don't look at me i'm screaming because i can I see you've been cooking, cooking with gas. I've been uh, cooking, cooking, cooking with gas cause it's so handy and affordable. But don't mess with that. Get cooking with gas. I be cooking, cooking, cooking with gas. Cause it's so handy and affordable. Don't come at me with that. Get cooking with gas. Y'all are like, what, Garabo? That was an advert back in the day in South Africa. Aren't you advertising gas? Watch the new. The, the, the. Who are they? World Economic Forum. Be like, that advert, she's a bend. She is bend, eat the bugs, and cook the bugs with the sun. And leave the gas carbon emissions behind. And God was like, Clown Schwab. I am cooking, cooking, cooking with gas, cause it's so handy and affordable. Don't mess with me. Get cooking with gas. I'm cooking, cooking, cooking with gas. Cause I can. And it looks like it's not just us out here rebelling against the global elites trying to force us to cook with like all different kinds of other things and not gas. It's people in the occult that are cooking with gas. Okay? Gas lighting. As to their involvement in the mutiny against people's lives. Look, my hair is getting old and scruffy. Like, mini twists will do you dirty. In comparison to mini braids, they will do you dirty. They will do you dirty, okay? They get old quickly. 
and there's nothing we can do. So they're gonna look nasty, but it doesn't matter. Because you're, you're cooking, cooking, cooking with gas. Yeah, I mean, that was an advert back in the day, I guess. Eh? To encourage people to cook with gas. Or rather, it was just an ad advertising gas. I'll be cooking, cooking, cooking with gas because it's so handy and affordable. Don't mess with that. That's a person out here switching on like a stove, right? Like a regular stove, like an electric stove. And the person stops them on some. Don't mess with that. Get cooking with gas. And the woman's like, I am cooking, cooking, cooking with gas because it's so handy and affordable. Yeah. That's the occult. Gaslight me into oblivion. Me until I don't know that you did, that you did. Gas me until I don't know my middle name. Gas me from here until Timbuktu. And then we're gonna act like you didn't do it. May I cooking, cooking, cooking with gas because it's so handy and affordable. And then when we give them the gospel, they're like, don't mess with that. Get cooking with gas. I'll be cooking, cooking, cooking with gas because it's so handy and affordable. Because the moment you come with truth, you'll be messing with that. Turns out Christians are not the only ones rebelling against the World Economic Forum's recommendation to leave gas out the equation. Oh, we all be out, yeah. But just like the World Economic Forum, just like the global elites, hypocrites don't live like people do. Traveling to wherever you need to go using jets and everything. Like, uh, jet setting, like multi-car convoy that's your detail just for like the security guards and then there's of course just other random like tailies psycho fans following klaus schraub everywhere huh. and then they come and they tell us not to use carbon emissions yeah well turns out that just like the global elites you all are a bunch of hypocrites hey eh? yeah you also be cooking, cooking, cooking with gas Cause it's so handy and affordable Don't mess with that, get cooking with gas Did I tell you that today's the 23rd of October? Don't mess with that, it's the real date, I ain't joking Hmm <sighs> Y'all gonna miss that soon. I'm sorry for drinking water in front of you because of <laughs> soon y'all ain't gonna have no water. It's gonna, it's a gonna be dry. Anyway. We're not singing anymore. I'm sorry. Like, I probably need to get this message out of the way. I don't even know what I'm gonna say. No, I do. I just don't know how to tackle it. You be cooking, cooking, cooking with gas because it's so handy and affordable. It's just so much easier than confessing that you're a witch, isn't it? Mm. Gaslight. Gaslight, everybody. And then cook us, kamaka. <sighs> Cook us with all of your dirty little lies and your nasty little secrets. Even though somebody figured you out, you still don't care. Cause it's taboo to taboo to confess that you done did it. So you gonna cook us with gas. Amen. You know what? Like, yo, I'm not about nanny. I'm sick and tired of getting the Dorotze Twanang, like the exact same dreams. Like, I'm not doing this. 
That's why I'm going disco today, cause I I literally get up a Kelly song. Tell me how did I ever grow up past the eighties with all of this crazy world only tapering towards the end of the world? And now everybody's burning, burning in lies forevermore. Ever since they exited simpler times. Five, five, five. If I could turn. Turn back the hands of time And go back to live in the days Before everything fell apart If I could turn Turn back the hands of time I'd be a young woman in in the 80s instead of the 2000s it's funny that i was born in 84 but i wish that i was 24 in 1984 oh because then back then maybe i'd be living a much better life than these Instead of everybody lying and scratching I'd have my children oh, But they'd be born like me, me, me And inevitably get bewitched by their friends so if not me i guess my kids were gonna go through it so what's the point of being 24 and 84 because then i would have had a 24 year old in 2000 and is it four 2008 and it, it was just Either way, if I was mommy disco chick, if in the 80s I was like Sade, you think I'd leave your side, baby? You know me better than that. I think I'd leave you down when you're down on your knees. I wouldn't do that. I'll treat you the right way to walk. Is that what she says? No. If only you could see into me. I got these going down, down, down. Oh, oh, oh. Even if I was like Sade, an 80s youngster. I'd still be out to having a girl child that becomes a boy Later on There's no running away from what that which Infected our society Y'all know that Sade got a transgender kid, right? Like, so it don't matter You think I'd leave a shot, baby Good days, innocent days hmm? You give me that Give me that sweetest taboo That's why Like still really nice and simple And then your kid turns out all LGBT So either way I was done for Either way you Either way So maybe I was supposed to go back like even further But I don't know how to find a 20s look in these like application streets like all i could do was disco i was actually supposed to rock them loopy earrings to finish the look i think i leave side baby hey! my child might have come home with a girl as a girl and been like mama take it or leave it so i don't know because my mama was 26 and 84 
and she was a great girl at the time. And look at her now, look at her now. Either way, my guzom or shagala, look, people are gangster, so I can't turn back the hands of time. But what I'm getting at is that I was born at the opportune moment because I was inevitably going to be the generation that gets caught up in the sky to meet the Lord in the air. So it doesn't really matter um, what's going on over here because the world was just bound to end and stuff. I would have had kids that would have basically disappointed the living daylights out of me. Like if the roles were reversed and then I, yeah, and I gave my life to Jesus and tried to raise children up in the admonition of the Lord. They would have come back home and told me, Mama, I want to be a boy. Even though, but hey, I done bought you dolls as a child. I would have been a very sad and sorrowful mama. Getting on born again in a world where don't nobody else care. I was going to get born again. But my kids were going out here rock up telling me that I love me jazz as jazz because i love me man as a man <laughs> my children were gonna be so dumb so what can i do and then that kid was going to pretend like mama it's always been like that even in the 80s yo and i'm like hi child you are a lying child you are a lying child. And then this kid was going to do the very same thing that you be out here doing to me today. You be cooking, cooking, cooking with gas because it's so handy and affordable. Don't mess with that. Get cooking with gas. And then this kid was going to call me old fashioned and archaic and that I don't understand the times. Yeah, because I'm from a different time. Here it is. I was born in 84. I'm 40 now. And I'm being told that the times have changed. I guess people that are sober have always been getting slapped with that kind of crazy, haven't they? Times have changed. I'm sorry, no, you don't get to be Sodom. Times have changed. I'm sorry, no, witchcraft is still wacky. Times have changed. No, I'm sorry, no, Gorobella not gonna do it. Times have just shut up. So it is of absolutely no essence at the present moment what year or generation I'm born in because and saints across the times have just been getting dealt quite the bad blow by people out here just doing the most cooking, cooking, cooking with gas because it's so handy and affordable. It's the worst time in history but there's literally no other time that I could have been born. You know, like I'm a black woman so... Uh, uh. Ooh. The further back I go in time, the more dangerous it becomes for me as well. So I ain't never gonna ever win. If I could get in a time machine, make myself go and live in the 50s. I was gonna be walking around these streets carrying a dome purse. So I guess not. <laughs> Being a black woman means I would have endured systematic oppression, so at this point, I don't really know what could actually work. Yeah, I feel like I was born in the wrong time because I just don't fit in. Guess I'm going at these 2024s. Guess I'm zumbaring, and I can't stand it. I wish for a better time. Like, I'm always seeing Pina Elia, that guy. Get my Al Green, Al Grey, Al L. Let's just say L. I could think of better days. When the world was just so much better And everybody was normal largely And now I can never see a tomorrow Heaven never told me about this sorrow This broken girl How can you stop these tears from falling down? Hey! How am I ever
never supposed to overcome these crazy, nasty world that thinks that this is a going concern. La 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 la
Like, I don't know. Was it this prevalent then? Like, how many of y'all's mamas were listed by y'all's dads? <laughs> how many of y'all's dads were listed by y'all's moms? <laughs> many of y'all are happenstance children that never would have entered this planet if your mama as I want this one new baba corn I need to know I need to know I need to know because it's just like yo I'm tired you know what I'm asking like, I don't even know what way to tackle this. Like, it's too late for me to be doing a long drawn message, but I'm tired. Like, there is this menacing psychopath of a happy cooking, cooking, cooking with gas. Because it's so handy and affordable. Don't mess with that. Get cooking with gas. There is this, like, gas lighting freak that I had a crush on. Worked at MT and I thought he was my husband. Turned out to be one of the most prolific, like, little devils that I would ever first encounter. And still to this day, since Nathania. And last night, and I didn't come and talk yesterday because I've been taking a break. Like, I'm, just, I'm tired of repeating myself, you know what I'm saying? Mm. I dreamt about him and my uncle being birds of a feather flocking together. Like, I got a dream of seeing him, like, it's like, ish, man, as in. I'm tired. Facebook. I was scrolling through Facebook. I don't scroll through Facebook. I'm just not there right now. Um, I'm only on YouTube at present. But in my dream, I was inside Facebook and I was just going through. I don't know what it happened to me upon that, but you know that search page when you look for people on Facebook? You type in Tepo and then like a whole bunch of Tepos pop up. Yeah. I was on a page like that it's not like I had searched but I just happened to be on a page like that and this dude I, I saw him and he was listen to this y'all that's why I get it how can we mend this broken heart this is just a proliferation of generational curses like the world something gotta give uh, is this 88 reasons why the rapture is happening in 1988 are we there again is this gonna be like is somebody gonna be talking about everything that I said in my ministry Years down the line when I'm all dead and buried. On some, this lady Karabo once upon a time believed that the rapture is happening in 20, like around the 20, the 2020s. And then look, we're here, it's like 2069. I could think of better days when the world was so much better. I wish I lived in 2024 when Garabo was complaining because 2069 is a gangster and I can't look forward to tomorrow. Heaven never told me about this sorrow. How can I mend? This artificial intelligence crazy world I'm living in with my broken heart. How can I stop transhumanism from going forward? I wish I was living in 2024. Cause they have no idea what since then happened. Cause now this world can no longer go round. That sayeth the future Karabo out here in 2069, similarly frustrated by her society, wishing that she could have lived in 2024 because this, this year, this year were her better days. If she could go back into history, she'd get like her bra straps loosed. I got a leg, a corset would be loosed, eh? She'd be out here hanging 10, swinging on a hammock left to right, because the world would be so much better in 2024. I keep asking myself, is somebody in 2069 gonna look at me on some those were so much better days it was so much better because look at what's going on today in which case i'm quite disillusioned which is the reason why i'm struggling to record videos because i'm, I'm crazy disillusioned but we're getting somewhere with this point hmm? ish Facebook. I was inside Facebook in the search page and uppermost was this photograph. There was this dude in a photograph. 
living so merrily with the heresy. And it turned out to be somebody else, and I am also very concerned. Maybe Satan wants me disillusioned. But I'm gonna keep on holding on to Jesus no matter what they say. Because hell is gonna close the earth, and we're gonna see it. Hanging out around his throne And then the Antichrist gonna chop off all of your heads Cause you wouldn't listen to me In the run up to the rapture cause you were crazy But now at least you're coming home Cause the Lord took us back home When I'm away only remember how you risked me Under your lying boats thrown on the street Hearing you whisper through the phone So he took me back home That's a song I rewrote, I, 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 I embellished a certain lyrics over there But I rewrote it too, cause I'm that girl Hmm Rachai there's no way we're not, but then again, Martin Luther also was like, there's no way we're not, to a point where he believed that the papacy was the Antichrist. Booyah! So are we there? Or not? Listen to my little dream from Facebook. Cooking, cooking, cooking with gas, because it's so handy and affordable. Don't mess with that! Get cooking with gas! Cause you went to gas like Halissa na maka king Maka Maka Anyway Here's my dream on Facebook Yo Locust, Pama wem, Kenka wem, Mopani wem Halissa lidi noch Hey This dude from MTN that I used to have a massive crush on That turned out to be a hard knock satanist Unai pizam zalwani however That had to happen. Amen. Snap a most yeah picha. Uppermost in the search engine. Not that I was searching, but like it's there. Hey? It's there. Huh. And you know how old school photos be like, right? Black and white. All like grainy. And like the white part of it is showing. It's like you can tell that it's been through life, you know? It's Polaroid, it's like put in a pocket, walk around with it, no digital photographs. Then somebody uploads that on Facebook. Like take a photo of a photo and then upload that on Facebook. Yeah. This dude's photo be looking like that on Facebook. Like, oh, uh, uh, old school. Yeah. Old school photo on Facebook. That's this okay, right? And I'm like, I wonder why Snippers are a old school saw, right? I see it on Facebook and I'm like, this is, let's say his name was... Uh, give me a name, give me a name, Tepang. Ne? Let's say this guy's name was Tepang, yeah, Tepang's photo. It's like looking super old. All the other photos underneath are like regular, you know, modern day photos taken with an iPhone or a digital camera back then. What a, what a fish paste, but this guy's photo will be out you looking old like it's a photo of a photo. Yeah, taking a photo with your iPhone of like your grandfather's pic taken in 58 or whatever. Mm. And I'm like, that's a very old photo of Tebang. And guess what happens in my dream? Initially, I think it's Tebang. But then it just like morphs like a cocoon in a stage of metamorphosis becoming like a butterfly or whatever and this thing I just stops being a worm and starts being a butterfly do you understand what I'm saying? it then morphs from Tepang to my uncle yes guys I'm tired and, and that's why I didn't come in and talk about it I understand my dreams that's the thing right so I have a prophetic gift on top of that I have the gift of interpretation I know immediately what I'm being shown and because it's like as in Nina Menta, Gewebo. Little we had a little we had it in the little way since the eighties and the little way since the seventies and the little way guys and the little way no we go fella and look that we logo and I'm like yo yes in me and grand guys and grand man that's why I get a bomb me balloon 
some of you are like, if at all, all this epidemic of witchcraft was not already prevalent in the 80s, some of y'all would not be in these streets. You wouldn't be here. There'd be other permutations or variations of you. Because your, your mother would have married another father. Your father would have married another mother. And they would have made another you. <laughs> because proper you are not first choice, but bugger. Like, you, you are not your... You are not the, the, the kid of the most favorite woman of your dad. Like, <laughs> I was like, it, guys, I man can my swab, you know, my scalp is itching. I, mm -mm. Like, I'm sorry, I do apologize. Maybe that's why there's so much room mating in households. That maybe that's why in the black community, utando laba zali, asul asul fili. Like, the love between parents, maybe that's why we don't feel it. Show of hands, black kids. How many of y'all grew up feeling on and knowing that your parents love each other? <laughs> like, you know, when my ex-boyfriend and I were dating, we had these public displays of affection all over the show. I used to think Uguti PDAs were a white thing, hey? Because growing up, I never saw any adults, grown-ups, out here holding hands, kissing, hugging in front of children. It just didn't happen in the black community, right? Until I started jollering, until I started experimenting Kesa as a little child, Gilistoju, and I could not get my hands off my boyfriends, like all of them. I, I couldn't, and I didn't care that I was in public, I didn't care that I was in front of friends, like, wherever, like it didn't matter. At school, outside of my school, holding hands, I didn't have a shyness. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't wait. To be basically behind closed doors i never dated guys who were shy to hold my hand make out in public water water and in the club as a black kid i saw all that pda violence inside the club i saw it at the news cafe on fredman drive i saw it Godi disco ngidi party okay maybe not disco i'm not old enough to have been godi disco but y'all get my point like everywhere like where young people were at there were always these people everywhere just making up like but what i'm getting at is in youth we are like white people in terms of relationships literally tongue wrestling everywhere at the party taxi like there was this one dude <laughs> that i dated and he was scared to even hug me goodbye at the taxis because he said that one time with his ex-girlfriend he hugged her and kissed her goodbye at the taxis the taxi driver stopped <laughs> the taxi got out of the taxi driver got out of the taxi and slapped him for PDAs. Basically, like, yeah, he was a kid like me. He was only one year older than me. At the time I was like 21, 22, he could have been 22, 23. And he 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 didn't want to hold my hand. Or even hug me, but only because he got clapped by a taxi driver once for doing that with some ex-girlfriend of his. That was the only instance of a guy that, that was actually apprehensive um, about holding my head in public and letting me at a particular place, not necessarily everywhere else. Whenever we were out there in the party scene, wada wada, he didn't care, he didn't mind. So PDAs was like, were like a thing in, in front of kids, if you know what I mean. In front of people, like with us, like kids themselves did not mind doing this in front of each other. They only hid it from parents because you know, yeah, it's taboo to be kissing in front of your mom. And it's also taboo to be kissing in front of your teachers and whatnot. But in front of each other, they just didn't care. Yeah, PDAs were a thing. But then that whole public displays of affection thing, I only saw it once I started to jola. But I never saw it amidst grown-ups. I never saw it amidst parents, uncles, aunts. Basically, those that brought us into this world, you would wonder, how did that happen? <laughs> what, what, what brought me on board? <laughs> what brought me on board? Like, what brought me on board? Because it's just like Antarctic. It's cold. It's freezing. You're as cold as ice in black households. Like, parents don't hold hands. They don't show affection. They don't kiss. They don't hug in front of kids. They don't even call each other baby. They don't even call each other sweetie, my love, my like. Like I dated a dude that used to get me. I used to be upset 
whenever he would use my my name Karabu, because he only ever used it Hanan Kwatetse for something so the moment he was like Karabu, I would look at him with like what do you want like I was preparing for war because I knew that he only calls me that Magakwatile wouldn't have something that he wants to raise and they're saying I'm getting all defensive now to fight back on some king 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 <laughs> it's my name but <laughs> I had a bone to pick with him calling me Karabo he would when he raised his voice be like hey Karabo man don't do that yeah type set up thing whenever he was upset but literally like 90 to in 95 percent of the time it was babe baby sweetie wada wada like first thing in the morning with Ohanja fella without thinking that was my name it was second nature and yet go but I miss parents like it just would never happened sweetie level never like maybe rare one one in ten angas but I guess I can now personally kick up on a lay but I'm a whole no meet grown-ups that that called each other babe love my darling whatever just not not in the black community I did see it just not in the black community I saw it I missed white parents of kids in my schools uh teachers in my school that were married there were there was this like married couple at school that used to call each other honey Haneva Kota. there they both were teachers at my school the husband and the wife uh type establishment thing hugs kisses at like honey in the morning in the morning they would they used to travel in the same vehicle and uh, of course like go their own separate ways um like after stuff king stop baby tongue like you know how teachers hang out in the staff room and whatnot and then when classes start they go to classes sometimes you will see them as they like one is going to their lesson to teach english the other one is going to teach maths and when they were parting ways they would kiss and then go to their classes respectively i saw that with with like uh, you know white grown-ups essentially it was like that and you also see it in movies with white people and white kids appeared to be used to this in their households but not us right not black kids but when we got older we jollied like that hey parting ways kissing hugging holding hands all that jazz pdas and what have you it happens when we're all starting out like it happens when we're all in high school varsity early 20s whatever but then somewhere along the way hobale ice cube in the refrigerator like type sort of kind of comatose catatonic mortuary like it's giving cadaver there is something deathly about the black union which is why keep Zahore is your mother really truly your, your your father's lover and is your father really truly your mother's lover because your band all up in there your band your banda black families even those that are still married those 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 that did not get divorced somewhere along the way Hakuna my love, hakuna my sweetie, hakuna daily, hakuna hand holding. Why you do I feel like this? Which it's just known that this is umfazi gaput Isaac, and this is indota gasis Mary. But other than us knowing you are not gonna know. They don't hold hands, they don't kiss, and they are aloof, despondent. They also don't call each other terms of endearment names of endearment little puppy names nothing nothing to uh, evidence that there, there's love here and i last relationship that i was in that was i guess that was deep that was like that was long enough longer than a piece of string like frankly uh, the last stable relationship that i was in we did not break up because things grew cold in the relationship and we got distant we broke up because he was like a total jerk that would not get his act together but the love was still there and all the way up until the end i was still not garabo i was baby or something and we were we would hold hands in public it, like there, there was literally there was never a dull moment that's what i'm getting at all right there was never a dull moment um because there was love all throughout type setup thing so what encroaches what is the stealth of the worm that infiltrates the black community that makes our parents roommates to a point where Tina Askaza Simona Utando Loabo Tina personally only that Bacha Dilen that's it only that they are just being married and literally it stops there like it's a junction yeah stop and just brrr chee brrr giddy brrr if you like to go over the main thing it produces a D thing it produces a D circumstance and manje in the black community manje but back in the day I knew our parents and our moms in particular tended to be very reliant on on dads 
Um, it was before the era of the independent woman. All oh, the women who independent threw your hands up at me. It was before the independent woman era. So women could not just get out, step out, make like, you know, like Sonic the Hedgehog and Bashian. When a guy was either abusive or verbally, emotionally, psychologically or whatnot, or just boring and just feel like, just go divorce and be whoever you want to be with. Because they were dependent on dads. They were dependent on these men. So perhaps, I, like, so yeah. Because of the inability for the women, largely financially, materially, to leave these marriages, they just kind of stayed in them. Within Dotanje, Ebozayo, or Usumamanje, or Because, you know, Yam Sokome, Langim Kipegi, Bonga Mahomu, uh, so I guess we'll, we'll keep it. Plus, she's given me like five kids, whatever. Bang poora, but you know, it's my fam. That's what's good. It's what I'm used to. Uh, but you, you literally can, you can never fathom just a, a, a colorful, animated, like very exceptionally exciting romance. Like you can't fathom a time when these people were very happy. You cannot fathom it because today they are just going through the most. Like literally they're just going through it. Like, that's it. I don't know if you other than just go through it. This cannot be something that is just black tastic only. It's fantastic only for black people. Kifilankari una is something that is a unique identifier that makes black marriages like this. And the Kifilankari lanze huna le group areas act. Le hanze huna le soweto uprising. Le hanze huna le dombas kering. It's always just been like that. Korobel. Want to buy me I get to buy a gem on a mong loaner. Only thing legitimately. Anga is in Jandin. I proper have no idea. Upa, amidst you, nguba ni here that has organically fallen in love. Because when we are on the come up, harukola as the endwiser, eh? When we're the little childrens. Yet are we to be introduced to le rubbish and nong? So guess it's such a lunge and over your low moon low oh coat 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 a cassette hood. Oh cute oh moho the moto oh na ho jiva kitty type it's a di mangisa and a you that chick or a tang di guys that a tang ho jiva. The bulang di ser di ser kele. So that's why lele maraton haka na kot lapong unable to get your hands off each other. But later on the same mangisa dancing buffoon makes a decision ugu tim nanya seven za manje ngine mali and le chair le ofisi ni enga funu kungi koma uzo ngi koma and so wama shapaka korobela korobela ena le expiration date expiration date ena le expiration date i know that that's a thing because hama na ako borile ako tenne ako serian sidze Lady romantic novel whether or not you were once upon a time in love with him and it goes both ways eh you know Pina Elia John Legend is that phenomena where a guy or just starts out really in love with a girl and then just falls out of love because uh, when I and I hate baby when I used to love you there's nothing that I wouldn't do I went through the fire for you anything you ask me to but I'm tired of living this lie it's getting harder to justify I realize that I just don't love you hey not like I used to. Hey, mm. yeah, Pinaya John Legend did this some girth to it because somewhere along the way, Umuntumaga bor like Wahoo dinner, like Ginda, Mummy Ring, like Crazy Kingy, get parasite, Mummy he had you be. Just sapping and drinking and sapping and drinking and juicing you like a straw. And so John has to hot tete John Kunzo hot a la rubbish. So mshanga well baby when I used to love you, there's nothing that I wouldn't do. I went through the fire for you. Anything you'd ask me to, but I'm tired of living this lie. It's getting harder to justify. I realize that I just don't love you. Mm. 
Not like I used to. Uh, cheeky Aja be fluffing her peacock feathers trying to walk. Because dude and that drag melee through the mud. Like black men will irritate you. Black guys on the come up. The way never start a haka thing in comparison to us. Hey Rana, you meet at varsity or you meet in high school. You start a career. Oh brr wamu feta. Oh wamu zama wamu pusha. Oh pro yo gwen. Oh for the lang. Licensing department or all that driver's license. Gwen. Of omo go off on the the job of a pushing in CV. Motu do tinge fell. Kiss to fell. Statue? Yo. Uru tu usha play statue. Ha. 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 Movie. And you busy skyrocketing in your career. Ever to guys of frazi wankutra. At some point, you love them like a fat kid loves cake. But after four years of trudging through the streets of a complacent dude, unso hola hola hola, oko panale ba chwa kuzang manale ambition ngo pele. Ida kusko longo rogom sebeting. At some point, le dumbo le blomi ngo kuti maso fire how. Baby, when I used to love you, nothing that I wouldn't do. Went through the fire for you, anything you ask me to. But I'm tired of living this lie. It's getting harder to justify. Realize that I just don't love you. Not like I used to. You feel suffocated by some dude that is spreading. <laughs> like Rama Moroto. Jefela in your life with no substance, no ambition. Guys will annoy you like that. We get a pen on Pitan Solu Bizuko Gotako. God. Have you been inside a house, mobile zone construction? Have you lived next door? Grand Chef, yeah, that's the perfect example. Have you lived next door to Indu? I mean, the construction guy. In that you don't know when <laughs> when they're gonna finish <laughs> driving that nail in. <laughs> it's like anti. <laughs> how how imp how impregnable and how impenetrable is that wall or that piece of wood that you have to be like go 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 the whole day. <laughs> The whole day, the whole day, all you hear is just go, go, go. It's like, when is that nail going to go in <laughs> and be done? <laughs> oh, oh, that that thing Ella, that goes zzz, the whole day, Jeff. Like, zzz, when are you gonna finish cutting that wood? <laughs> It'll go like that the whole. They was able to get the bantu bana ba aha Taj Mahal. It just keeps going. The way you panel beat these dudes, <laughs> I did it. I would know all day. Go, go, go. You won't be able to study. You will take a taxi to the library. What's not chalet? Just because I don't know I'm going to go to the next door. I'm going to go to the next door. I'm going Yeah, that's what's good, yo. Okay, yeah. Black men. Sometimes, yo, in relationships, they're like that. Yeah, always just like something you're fixing your panel beating men wasaha sandpaper all day knocking things into shape and after five years he's in the same spot try let this guy five years and after five years of go 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 every day all day he hasn't moved an inch, an iota, or he's only gone one flight of stairs. Dog, when I gonna get you are earning handsomely, able to buy your own house. A black man will fries you like that. So even though in varsity you were in love, like no man's business. I know, uh, uh, somewhere along the way, I shame you. Just look, especially when you when you are a young professional, looking at peers on the left and on the right of you, that are out here soaring like birds, like guys that are out here trying to holler at you because they think you know maybe we can talk that are appropriate like as in they, they are appropriately ambitious as in the two of y'all could go and do beautiful things girl can non so salivate after guys adversity in your lectures dog you will you like in your part-time classes you will salivate after guys in the office that are out here your colleagues in in the same projects you're working on and you will be thinking about go 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 Go, 
that you have to go home and deal with like this guy that is your boyfriend that you has been around since early days and all you can do is be like same 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 Baby, when I used to love you, there's nothing that I wouldn't do. I went through the fire for you, go, go, go. anything you'd ask me to. But I'm tired of living this life, go, go, go. It's getting harder to justify. I realize that I just don't love you, not like I used to. But you see, when you're busy out of telling a dude, get your act together because I'm getting tired. You're transparent because I get it, your relationship is always just some kind like you're, you're, you're the shrink of your relationship. You're in therapy. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're the person that out here taught yourself all different kinds of psychological principles just to help you and your person to grow from strength to strength. Seeing as you know, you're not yet where you need to be in order to be able to afford therapy. For crying out loud. Yeah. So now, because it's therapy, 24 hours a day in this relationship, y'all are always fixing stuff, talking about it. You are honest. Because you're in therapy, talking about it, you're honest. I get it. That's the very nature of therapy. You gotta come out with your ringy var about how your feelings are. Like, literally come out with the truth because it's not gonna help to fabricate. It's not gonna help to uh, confabulate or to hide or to, you know, distance yourself from the truth reality because then if you don't talk about it, you will bottle it in and the next thing, it's gonna come out in the future, pop in like a bottle of of, 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 of bubbly or whatever. So, it, it, it's all right, guys. Yeah, so about what they call transparent. So you tell this dude, 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 if you don't get your act together, I mean, the way that you would indeed tell him in therapy, right? Yeah. You let him know that you're on, or five two, you're on skinny ice. But um, you are getting on thin ice. That's what's good. Um, um, thin ice. And if you don't get your act together, I'm not get the whole ultimate, I'm going for six months. Eh? That's your probation period. If you don't have your, 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 your stuff in odor in six months, I sorry. I'm leaving because I'm not getting any younger. Biological clock, all that jazz. That's you. Uh, you are mature enough to be transparent about how you feel. You're not going to just, you know, not let them know that you're actually disillusioned about the relationship. You you are honest. But you see, it is that very transparency or shrink of the relationship. Where now a whole cry a psychology degree a masters in a relationship without actually going to study at a university and get accredited for being a shrink you who are in um, a relationship shrink without the accreditation oh only completely with candor you're in thin eyes just by me for sure for bad one more bumper and water over my dead body nako it's a very shaky ground solid gun gun that's what happened with me i told my ex that yo <laughs> like you better get your act together go 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 not gonna give get out of the construction work else that's you go fell and carlin and alina now let the end of this nail this this speaker eh see so it's like getting more haga like party <laughs> I can say what I can say as long as I'm king speaker or I can turn to king no call it a tiga of hell if by the end of this day if by the end of this month by the end of this year speaker is a sit look as it's okay and more how about see a boot baby when I used to love you I'm leaving dude yeah cool look at me when I met you you were making more than me look at me now making double you are a blom make like a fire a flower Olo chela fela swing in the hammock relax ke fela nka rona se nyana ko ya ka mara ke tlo it's called an ultimatum get your act together alo muntu instead of you know like when you go to therapy you then work on the issues raised ha 